Thank you so much. This is Cyrus from AttackTheCulture.com, covering hip hop from all angles. And my biggest question for you, um, aside from how you're doing with all these crazy interviews, right, is uh, have you been able to exhale? Because before season one even premiered of Raising Canaan, we already were renewed. Second season, uh, it feels like it's been a nonstop journey for you. Yeah, it has not, we have not really stopped, huh? It is <laughs> so exciting to be going into season two and be, to be able to watch it. Cause I feel like we filmed it and they took it away and it was easier in the pandemic to have more information, but now we've all been waiting. I'm so excited to see the season with everybody else. Gotcha, yeah, another big question I have for you, Haley, is I don't know if you know this because you know we're in the streets over here and I the culture. It's low key that this series is really called Raising Jukebox because I cannot <laughs> tell you how many people love Jukebox. Obviously, we all know what happened uh, in her portrayal and power, but my goodness, embracing this role for, for another go around um, was it, was it a uh, change of uh, state of mind that had to change? Did you just keep the momentum? Because it gets a little bit deeper this time around when we really get into your personal life. And, and it's like, she doesn't trust anybody. Jukebox Laverne is like not trusting anyone right now. Yeah, I was really excited. It's always exciting when you get to be the villain, villain's origin story, right? Like, it's yeah. so it's so cool for me. I'm so happy that the streets embrace Miss Laverne Jukebox Thomas. I'm so grateful. So thank you to everybody that loves Raising Jukebox. I don't know if that has the same ring as Raising Canaan. Um, but yeah, I, I think we're going to see a, a, a more familiar side to her this season for sure. Got you, got you. Now, I know you weren't really around in the 90s to experience all this, but with this being such a nostalgic show, um, you know, talking to Sasha and just all the people behind the scenes, Big Tank doing the music and then the fashion, let's just take a moment to like, kind of get what's been your favorite nostalgic thing of the 90s? Was it the music? Is it the fashion? Like, what have you really embraced from being in this kind of timepiece series? Well, I'm a singer, so anything, all the 90s R&B divas, I'm right there. Um, but also, I loved all the polo gear, okay? The polo gear yes. that I got to rock, the Versace that Patina wears is Raquel. I love the fashion as well. I love all, all of it, and I love that our producers really go there, you know? They're not shying away from any of it. No, absolutely. And just out of curiosity, because it's so easy to kind of pitch you right there with Makai, but who do you really have the strongest uh, onset chemistry? Because it is a family bond, but, you know, it's easy to think about uh, Patina, Makai, but, you know, from what we don't see when the camera stops rolling, who do you really connect with the most on set? Well, besides Makai, because Makai and I are actually very, very close. I love him. Patina's okay. played my mom before in a different show. So we came into the show together already knowing each other. So I'd say she's the second strongest <laughs> bond I have. And I love her. I love her to death. Gosh, no, I'll just throw one or two more quick things at you because I know we got to wrap up. Uh, getting that Broadway presence on such a street gritty series. Of course, Patina, yourself. Uh, how exciting is that to have like some legend or, you know, some very aspiring and super famous Broadway stars like yourself and Patina really bring that talent to uh, stars. I mean, stars has always, power has always had a lot of Broadway actors come be a part of the show. I think people just don't realize it. And it's really fun. It's so fun for me. I told my team, I'm tired of playing princesses. Give me something gritty. Give me something real. And yeah. I, I think I got it. <laughs> so that's been really fun. Gotcha. And I'll just wrap up on this last question. Um, are, are you a little bit nerve wracked? Because like I said, before season one even aired, August, uh, or rather uh, that, that day or two before it actually aired, we got renewed for a second season. Are you kind of like in the background thinking, oh man, are we going to get renewed for season three before August 14th even wraps up? Or are you not thinking that deep into it right now? I'm nervous as hell. I want to know what's going on. We were all asking that question before we even wrapped <laughs> season two so i'm hoping we, we find out when you guys find out when they post it on the instagram that's when we find out so hopefully they say something soon yo haley it's been amazing congrats try to exhale and just uh get ready for this non-stop social media overwhelmingness of people just blowing you up saying how amazing you are oh thank you thank you so much you're welcome